Hi, my name is Maria, and today we want to show you how you can download, export, and share tables from the 2020 Decennial Census Detailed Demographic and Housing Characteristics File A, or Detailed DHCA. We also want to show you how you can access this data from the File Transfer Protocol, or FTP, site. The detailed DHCA provides population counts and age and sex statistics for detailed racial and ethnic groups and American Indian and Alaska Native tribes and villages. I've invited my colleague Noemi to show you how to do this in data.census.gov. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Noemi. Let's say that I want to find out how the Samoan population is split between the cities and towns in Utah. Since I want to get the count for anyone who reported their race as Samoan, I'm fine with using the population of people who reported their race as Samoan alone or in any combination. To start, go to data.census.gov and click on the advanced search button found beneath the search bar on the landing page. I always like to select the geography first. So from the left side of the screen on the geography, click on place, Utah, and check the box for all places in Utah. Next, I want to let the site know that I want to find data from the 2020 detail DHC-A. I can do this by navigating to surveys, clicking on the decennial census, and checking the box next to the detailed demographic and housing characteristics file A. The last thing I wanna do is let the site know that I want data for the Samoan alone or in any combination population. I can do this by navigating to topics and clicking on race and ethnicity and native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander. At this point, we have a short menu of options that are available. Detailed Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander alone. Detailed Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander alone are in any combination and all available detailed Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander races. Using a selection from the Detailed Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander alone menu will give you data on those who reported only a single entry, such as Samoan. Using a selection from the Detailed Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander alone, or in any combination menu, will give you data on those who reported a single entry for their race, like those just mentioned, as well as those who reported the entry with one or more races, such as Samoan and Italian. And then we have the option for all available detailed Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander races. Using this will give you data on all the detailed Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander alone groups, as well as the detailed Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander alone or in any combination groups that happen to be available for the geography of interest. The first two options are most helpful when you have very specific race groups in mind that you want to look at. The last option is the most helpful if you do not necessarily have any specific group in mind to use and you want to get a full idea of all the different detail groups available for the geography. Since I'm interested in looking at people who reported their races Samoan alone or in any combination, I'm going to click on the second option for detailed Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander alone or in any combination. Then I want to click on Polynesian alone or in any combination and then check the box for Samoan alone or in any combination. Once you've made these selections, click on the search button in the lower right corner of the screen. For the combination of these geographies with the Samoan alone or in any combination race group, we receive a list comprised of four tables. Please keep in mind though, that when you do your own searches for detailed racial and ethnic groups and American Indian and Alaska native tribes and villages, you may receive up to four tables in return, but it's possible that not all of them will contain data for your group of interest. When using data from the detailed DHC-A, we recommend that you view our video that explains how the amount of data that you receive is determined and how this data will appear in data.census.gov. The video can be found at the link below. Returning to our list of tables, we can see that the first table, T01001, 
gives us the total number of people who reported their race as Samoan alone or in any combination for the geographies we selected. The other three tables provide sex by age data and they differ according to the number of age categories provided. T02001 provides four age categories. T02002 provides nine age categories. And T02003 provides 23 age categories. As we look through the tables, we can see that tables T01001 and T02001 contain data. Tables T02002 and T02003 do not have any data. Just keep in mind that the amount of data received in these tables is dependent on the size of the population of interest and the size of the geography. Let's take a look at T01001 total population. We can see that this table shows us a simple breakdown between cities and towns of the total number of people who reported the race as Samoan alone or in any combination. From the top of the table, we can confirm that we are using 2020 detailed demographic and housing characteristics file A, and the universe of this table is the total population. Now that I found the table I want, I'd like to get it into Excel. So what options do I have? Well, the first option is to export the table. I can either export to Excel or export to a CSV format. If you do the export to Excel, you'll see that it looks very similar to what you see on the screen. This is really the best option to go with if you want a presentation ready format. Let me show you by clicking on the Excel button. Once it opens, you'll see that there are two different worksheets. The first labeled information provides information on the data set, the filters used, and notes on the table. The second labeled data provides the actual table of data. You can see that it's set up the same way that it was on the screen and it's very easy to read. The other option is to download the table to a zip file. Once I click on the zip button, a prompt will appear telling me to download a CSV version. If I click that button, the file is created and I just have to click on the download to open it. For every table you download, you'll receive three files, one called column-metadata, one called table-notes, and one called data. While you may want the information found in the other two files, the data one is going to be the main one that you want because it gives you the actual data from the table. When you open it, Probably the first thing you'll notice is that it looks very different from the exported version of the table. This is because when you download, you're getting the data in a flat machine readable file. One of the benefits of using the downloaded version though is that you'll get the GeoID, which is the unique identifier for each geography. There are other ways to save or share a table that don't involve Excel. One of these ways is to use the share button. If you click on that, you are presented with the option to share the table to different social media platforms or send it to someone else via email. You can also copy the link directly to save or share with someone else. One other avenue that you may be interested in using to access the data is the File Transfer Protocol or FTP site. Data users will often use the FTP site when they want to do a bulk download of data. To get to the detailed DHC-A data location in the FTP site, click on the More Data button found in the ribbon above the table. Then click on the Continue to Site button to go to the FTP. Thanks, Noemi. I hope this tutorial has helped in learning how to export, download, and share the tables you find from the 2020 Detailed Demographic and Housing Characteristics File A as well as access this data through the FTP site. For more guidance on using data.census.gov, please visit our resources page at the link below. Thank you.